Hey you guys, welcome back to another What I Ate Today video. These are some of my most requested videos, so I hope y'all enjoy it. For breakfast, I had two eggs, a piece of sausage, and some veggies. I haven't been doing my normal full week food prep recently, but I have been prepping certain foods. And what I mean is I always have like some turkey meat or some chicken, some black beans or some quinoa or something like that at the beginning of the week. I always prep about two or three items, put it in the refrigerator at the beginning of the week. So if I need food, if I need something to run to really quickly, I will have something. And of course, you guys will see that in this video. And also, I put a napkin in my veggies to soak up the moisture to make the um, veggies last longer in the refrigerator. But y'all know this man. So I'm making me a smoothie, um, no veggies, just fruit smoothie, um, pineapple, banana, strawberry, and some soy milk. At the beginning of my journey, it was a struggle for me to get protein and fiber in and get that energy that I needed. I tried supplements, which we will talk about um, in a coming video. So I realized that I don't have to have the max amount of protein, fiber, and carbs to keep that energy level up and keep everything in balance. I just noticed that as long as I stay consistent with getting those things into my body, everything stays balanced. and I keep that energy level i will also have a link for other what i ate today videos in this video and in the description box recently i've noticed that i've been having stomach cramps if i don't get enough carbs in um i don't know if that's a complex carb thing or something else i really need to go in for some tests but let me know have y'all experienced that so this is breakfast oh yum yum so you can't be in my family or a friend in my family and say you don't eat crawfish. Like my family have parties and the only thing on the menu is crawfish. So I ate about half of this bag and I was over it for the moment. So y'all know I like to eat. I realize that my what I ate to videos are very different than a lot of what I ate today videos. I can't sit around and eat fruit, nothing but fruit and vegetables. That's not my life. That's not reality. And that's just not what I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all reality. <laughs> so I know that like I eat a lot of different foods, probably foods that you guys typically don't eat. But of course, I want to keep it fun and always let y'all know that you can eat eat so many different types of food and still continue to lose weight. So these are three foods that I have on hand. I have some mushroom, some black beans, and some ground um, turkey. This is mixed though with ground beef and ground turkey. I found a really good sale on some ground beef. It was regular price like 13 bucks and it was on sale for like $5. I have to mix it with the turkey meat or I won't be able to eat it. It's like I can taste the grease and ugh, in it. Presentation is everything. I realized this, but I couldn't find my big salad bowl. Now this is one of my favorite dishes, you guys. It is just whole spinach. Like I cut it up just a little bit to fit in the bowl, but in reality, if I had my big salad bowl, it would just be whole spinach, about half the bag. And then I just put some things on top, some ground turkey, some beans, some corns, whatever I have. So right now I'm putting a little bit of cheese in. Um, I'm going to use some black beans, my meat mixture, and some mushroom. And of course, all of it was already pre-cooked. Again, these are the type of things I have in the refrigerator that I can like fill up my belly really quickly. Um, I like to have this mixed up before I start eating it. I was just making a mess, y'all. But it was so good. Now, I personally love spinach. I can eat it plain, whatever. So this works for me. But of course, make it into your own. Whatever veggie that you absolutely love, fresh, make it into your own. And this is how fast I ate it. <laughs> so this is my first time making this particular casserole and it came out fabulous. It's the broccoli, chicken, and rice. So into the pan, I just have some natural seasoning. I added a half of onion and three chicken thighs. 
I boiled the chicken until it was about 90% done. I cooked the rice until it was done. It came out really good this time, you got Well, way better than before. <laughs> Once I was done with the chicken, I added the broccoli. It took on that flavor, all those awesome flavors, and then that onion. Oh, oh love it. This recipe is just so versatile. The original recipe for this one is two cups of rice, two cups of cheese, about three crowns of broccoli, and also about five pieces of chicken. That was a little too much for me, so I ended up using, of course, three pieces of chicken. Um, one cup of rice I cooked, but I didn't use it all. And I also took out one um, cup of cheese, but I didn't use it all either. Um, and of course, I used a lot of broccoli. I love broccoli. And you know, that bulks it up a little bit. And then I add the cream of chicken, mix it all up, add a little cheese at the top, pop it in the oven until it bakes all up yummy good. And then I put it on boil, broil, I can never say that, <laughs> to um, give the top, you know, the brown, crispy, yummy, golden yumminess. This dish is way too big for this meal, but I realized it after the fact. And I refuse to mess up another dish, so it is what it is. And for you guys that ask me about tea, my favorite tea, I guess it's pronounced like the bear yogi, um, is yogi. And I love the caramel apple. I need to change it up a little bit. Normally, I only have one glass of tea a day. So this is what I ate today, you guys. I also had my apple cider for breakfast as well as before dinner. And I drank four 24 ounces of water. And I know y'all remember this infamous picture that got this whole journey started. Um, I always said that I was standing next to another plus size woman and she was two, I was two times her size. And that's what really pushed me. Well, of course, y'all know that's my sister-in-law, and she has also lost about 30 pounds, so I wanted to say congratulations to you. Thank you guys for watching another What I Ate Today video. I hope it was beneficial, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Love you. Mwah.